Wouldn't it be nice if you could schedule a comment in Trello? Well, you can't. With this Microsoft Power Automate flow, you can schedule a Trello comment right from Teams. We'll use these three Power Automate actions, along with some other ones, to create this automation. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create two flows, one that can be triggered from Power Automate and the other from Teams. In Power Automate, create an instant cloud flow. Give your flow a name and select the manually trigger a flow action. First, let's take a look at the add a comment to a card action. This action requires that you specify a board ID and a card ID. By manually selecting these, you'll have to edit the flow each time you want to schedule a comment. That's not what we want. I'll show you how to dynamically get the board ID and the card ID so the flow remains flexible. In the manually trigger a flow action, add a text input. With this text input field, you can type the board name that your card is on. Alternatively, you can insert a drop down list of board names. I'll leave it as a single line text field. Add a list boards action. This action will return all the boards that you have access to. Next, add a filter array action. We'll use this action to filter out a board by name. In the from field, insert the body from the list boards action. Select board name from the list boards dynamic content, leave this as is equal to, and I'll insert the board name output here. Save the flow and run a test. Make sure that the filter array action is returning the correct Trello board. Next, add a compose action. We'll use this compose action to hold the board ID. For that, we'll need an expression. Insert square brackets and type in zero. Next, insert another set of square brackets, single quotes, and type in ID. Place your cursor at the start of the expression and insert the body from the filter array action above. Run a test. Confirm that the compose action is returning your Trello board ID. In the manually trigger a flow action, we're going to add two more text input fields. The first one will be used to store the card ID. The second one will be for the comment text. Add the add a comment to a card action. In the board ID field, select enter custom value. Insert the outputs from the board ID compose action here. In the card ID field, select enter custom value. Insert the outputs from the card ID input field here. For the comment text, insert the outputs from the comment field here. Run a test. Unfortunately, Trello doesn't display card IDs, which is what we need. This is a clunky part of the workflow, and there doesn't seem to be a way around it, at least not that I know of. If you have any suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. In Trello, open a card that you'd like to run a test on. Click Share. Right-click on Export JSON and select Open Link. Double-click on the ID to highlight it and copy it to your clipboard. Back in Power Automate, I'll enter the board name, paste the ID, and type in a comment. And here's the comment. Now that we've made sure the flow works, let's add the scheduling part to the flow. For that, we'll need to add two more input fields to the manually trigger a flow action. First, add a date input field. Next, add a text input field. This will allow you to manually enter the time. It's important to note that you'll need to enter the time in 24 hour format. Add a compose action. We'll use this action to combine the date and time inputs into a properly formatted date time value. First, insert the date, add a space, and then insert the time. Add a convert time zone action. Insert the outputs from the compose action above into the base time field. For the source time zone, select your local time zone. For the destination time zone, search for coordinated universal time. For the format string, select round trip. Add a delay until action right before the add a comment to a card action. Insert the outputs from the convert time zone action here. Run a test. I'll type in a board name and paste the card ID that's still in my clipboard. I'll select today, and it's currently 312, so I'll enter 1513. And there's the comment. 
because I'm manually typing in a Trello board name, typos can occur. This test had a typo in the Trello board name and the filter array action didn't return any items. This caused the next action to fail. To prevent the flow from failing, we'll add a condition to check if the filter array returns any items. Insert a condition after the filter array action. Insert the length function and insert the outputs from the filter array action here. Leave this as is equal to and enter zero. If the outputs of the filter array action is equal to zero, this means no boards matching the board name typed in were found. You can add an action here if you'd like, such as a notification in Teams. If the outputs of the filter array action is not equal to zero, meaning that a Trello board was found, we want the flow to continue, so I'll move these actions into the no branch. Run a test. I'll type in a name of a board that does not exist, as well as a dummy ID. Here in the filter array output, you can see that no items were returned. This means that the condition is true. To trigger this automation from Teams, delete the manually trigger a flow action and replace it with a from the compose box action. Click on create adaptive card. I'm going to edit the title and change the font size from medium to large. I'll delete this text block. I'll change the text in this text block. For this input field, I'll change the ID and the placeholder text. I'll use this input field for the board name. Next, I'll change the text in this text block. And I'll use this input field for the Trello card ID. I'll change the ID and the placeholder text. I'll also change the style from email to text. I'll change the text in this text block and I'll use this input field for the comment. I'll change the style from tell to text. Add a text block for the scheduled date and time label. Add a column set. Click this button twice for two columns. Drag the date input into the first column and add an ID for it. Drag the time input into the second column and add an ID for that. Lastly, edit the text on the button. Press Save Card. In this Compose action, we'll need to add the date and time dynamic content from the adaptive card. In the filter array action, insert the board name dynamic content here. In the add a comment to a card action, insert the card ID dynamic content here. In the comment text field, insert the comment dynamic content from the adaptive card here. Let's test it out. In Teams, open the Power Automate chat. Click on the three dots and select Workflows. Select your automation from the list. I'll fill in the fields and I'll set a scheduled time for a minute after the current time. What other Trello automations would be useful in your daily workflow? Let me know in the comments down below. If you found this tutorial helpful and plan to create this Power Automate flow, please consider giving this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new Power Automate flow ideas. Thanks for watching.